Dr. Leninger, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the, the six things that your doctor is not checking you for when it comes to uh, peripheral neuropathies, diabetic neuropathies, especially when it comes to your feet. Now, in America, uh, we typically, when I see a referral come in or a patient that comes into my clinic that has a diagnosis of neuropathy already from another physician, typically they've been through a, a, a standard physical exam where a history is taken, maybe they tested the dermatomes, which are the nerves that go to the skin, possibly they tested the myotomes, the nerves that control the deep tendon reflexes. All those are part of a, tip, you know, vitals are taken, comprehensive organ uh, systems, the review of systems is done. All that's done in a standard physical exam. But the thing that we're not doing, it, typically, at least in this country, is the, the more thorough examination, something called the Toronto clinical scoring system that is used to evaluate neuropathies. Um, and it gives the patient a score on both, all the way from the knee down to their toes, on each extremity. Uh, by calculating a specific, here's the, the test right here, by calculating a specific battery of tests that we go through, we score the knee, the leg, as well as the foot on both the right side, and then they get a total score for that leg, and then we do the left side and they get a total score for that leg. Now I don't know why this is not done typically in the United States, but it's not. So it's, a, it, it's, it's the things that I told you before are being evaluated, but what we do here additionally, in addition to those other things in the typical physical exams, we check the, the response to coolness, the response to vibration, the response to intense cold, the response to uh, uh, sensations like the wheel test, the sharp prick test, uh, intense heat test and the light test. So it's actually seven different categories and then we test the patellar and Achilles reflex to come up with that score of both the left and the right. And based on the score we can now develop a baseline for where the patient's at in addition to where their physical exam, what their physical exam gave us. Uh, and sometimes I've even found that patients have the diagnosis from a physical exam don't have neuropathy. They've been, they've been misdiagnosed when they come in and they, and they score differently on this than what, because they hadn't been given this test before. It's the most accurate test I've ever seen for diagnosing peripheral neuropathy. And we do it in my clinic here in Manassas, Virginia, uh, but once we develop that score, we can then address what types of treatments would be effective for the patient, and we retest them in the, in the middle of the treatments and then at the end of their treatment plan, uh, and we, we compare their scores to see how they've improved and where we need to make changes. Uh, so if you have peripheral neuropathy, I highly, highly suggest you look up a clinic in your area that does the Toronto Clinical Scoring System, if you're not in my area, uh, and get this test done. Uh, most neurologists and primaries just don't do it. Uh, so you need to find a specialist, somebody who specializes in treating neuropathies. I'm Dr. Leninger, and have a nice day.